Here we are. Um, back at it. Inner apron. Actually, wrong. Outer apron is shaped and sewn. It's rather a close-up image here that you can't probably can't quite see what I've got there. But the outer apron is is shaped and sewn. I was putting the top band on and just about to flip it over and realize that I hadn't yet secured the canvas to the inner apron. So stop and do that. But I'm just gonna leap in and sign it. This is something I started to do a couple of, a few years ago. I was watching a, um, a documentary on, on tailoring, curiously enough, and there was um, a Savile Row tailor that was tearing down a, a state coat, you know, one of the marvelously embroidered, gold embroidered um, coats, literal, almost literally a coat of arms of one of the state trumpeters of, uh, of uh, Britain. And um, the thing had been made 120, 130 years before, but it had reached the end of his life, his working life. So he was tearing it down to see what he could recycle, like the, the gold braid and such like that. And also, I suspect, to learn, to see if there was anything to learn from a previous craftsman's methods. And he got down there and he tore down the sleeve and there it was, the that long dead craftsman that t Master Taylor had sewn, wrong, sorry, had signed his name in the lining of the sleeve where the where the wearer almost certainly would have never have known it was there. And I thought, right, I'll do that. So, um, it's November still, isn't it? Okay, so. Two thousand two four. There we are. R. McDonald made me November two thousand and twenty-four. Now, of course, the top band will be partially obscuring that, and the lining will be totally obscuring that. But now I can carry on. Um, I'm a little behind today because uh, I was out running about doing things, but. It's very nearly quitting time. It's 20 to 6. But I will finish this corner and then I think leave it because then tomorrow, who knows, I might come back and work a little bit more on it tonight. I don't know, but I'm going to turn the, the top band down and then tomorrow morning baste it, press it, put it aside because it takes nearly an hour to properly press it. Put it aside. And start making the, the dress shoulder plate and then um, once it's properly dry we'll get the lining in it and it'll be ready for them great thing about using making the top band from the leftover strip of cloth when you shorten it is my the raw edges in here the the salvage edges here so I can just sew it down without worrying about fraying or anything else okay that's funny I just noticed that I have two needles now let me just get rid of that yeah I was uh met with a client yesterday and we did the first fitting and as I'd mentioned in the notes I mentioned in the previous video that there was a bit of fine adjustment to be done. His right hip was ever so slightly lower, I believe. But made that made that fine adjustment. And now I can carry on and finish in the comfort, comforting knowledge that it's that's all right. That there's not going to be touch wood, any 
surprises leap out at me as we finish this garment. Okay, let's, let's just knot this. Okay, you're officially annoy annoying me now. A little bit of thread. Okay, saw that. I'm uh, I'm not gonna force you to sit and watch me trying to fight the damn thread through the needle. Of course, now having said that, now I'm compelled to. Get in there, you rotten thing. Yeah, the heck with it. Okay, I'll continue threading that, knotting that on my own. Next stage, again, pressing, followed by straps, buckles, and lining.